<laughs> Hi friends. Nobody's on yet. Do you know how you know? Yeah. It tells you right there. Oh. Are we the only one? We have one eyeball. No, there's one more. Oh. See? It tells you. Hey me. Hi friends. We have five. Oh. We have eighteen. Oh, it. Hi everybody. Oh, you're Hi, mom. mom. <laughs> Twenty-four. Hi everybody. We're gonna wait just a couple more seconds. Hi Tracy. We have, look at the hearts. I see that. This is my first time with the live. This is Brett's first. Hi Chelsea. Brett's first time on live, so I'm having to teach him a little bit. I have to teach him about our game. Hi Larry. Okay, so we have some really exciting news to share with you guys. It's really exciting. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. It's Tammy Smith. Oh, so oh. Hunter. Okay. Okay, are you guys ready for our news? It's delayed. <laughs> the comments are delayed. Oh. <laughs> We don't really have any news. I'm just, no. I'm totally kidding. Brett looks nervous. <laughs> Chelsea's the guilty. I don't know what to do right now with my hands. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Okay, we don't really have any news, you guys. We just thought, well, I thought that since today was National Spouse Day or International Spouse Day or something. Hi, Mom. Um, that we would just come on here and do a Q&A. And if you guys don't have any questions for us, then I don't really know what we're going to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I hope that you have some questions. Um, it's really delayed. It's a boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, we don't really have no. any news. No. Like Aaron's on Hannah's Oh, thing. gosh. Okay, so we really don't have any news. We just want to do a Q&A. So, if you guys have questions about why he's drinking coffee, at 7.30 at night or... Well, my favorite coffee mug, OHP. Thanks to Ooh, mom and dad. Representing. Um, I don't know. Marriage questions. Questions about our life. Questions about Doug. Questions about why that uh, Beth decided to stick with a little old country boy from Bragg's. Yeah, that's a pretty good story there. It's the dimples. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, no. I was just teasing about the news. Happy Spouses Day. So you guys have any questions? So we can talk about something? Any questions? How's the cows? The cows are <laughs> so good. Yep. Baby Stella's getting so big. She's about to have to be weaned off of her mama. And hey, tell them the real exciting news. We're going to have a calf in about a month. We're going to have a new baby. A new baby. Yep. Hi, Vicky. Doug will have a brand new baby to play with. Lindsay out there. had a question. Why are y'all so perfect? You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Yeah. Aw, thanks, Emily. Cowboys are the best to marry. See, that's why. I sure. married him because he's a cowboy. And he's handsome. Yes, ma'am. Right? <laughs> um, back to the cows real quick, though. Stella's getting super big, and she's about to be weaned. And um, our other cow and is She scared you the other night, too. She's getting a little too friendly. So in the middle of the night, when Beth goes to give him some feed, she sneaks up on her, <laughs> runs right around her. And she almost kicked me. Yep, almost kicked me. Because her. she, I was, let me tell you a story, since you, until you guys have questions. Do you guys have questions? How until about Doug you, just get all of our business here? Yeah, look, here's Doug. See, it's oh, all yeah. the Isbells. All the Isbells. Um, so I was feeding the cows the other night, and I was holding the bag of feed, and I was pouring it onto the, onto the ground, and Stella, the baby calf, got really excited, and the bag kind of scared her, and she leaped over the bag, and she, like, kicked at me. Yeah. But it's okay. Aaron, thanks, bud. <laughs> Brett's a cowgirl. It's the eyelashes. I think the comments are a little delayed, so if you guys right. have questions. Lurie's got one for a pageant Ooh. question. Let's we'll see what that is. Okay, Lurie, what's your pageant question yeah. for Brett? I've been to more pageants than any other friend of mine ever, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the comments are super delayed. Oh, yeah. I think the comments are a little delayed, so how many, kids? How many kids do we want? Uh, we've had that conversation a lot. Yeah, depends on the week. Depends on the week. We for sure want one of our own. And we, two. two. Yeah, I think at least two. Yeah, we want two. <laughs> That's exciting. That's right. I didn't 
didn't know that. We want two kids. Yeah. Um, what's your top tip for husbands in pageantry? Ooh. I think a good one is to figure out how to take good pictures the right way because it's uh, pretty important. Take a lot of pictures. You're going to want to figure out how you're, how you're going to smile, you know, in all your pictures. And I don't know, just figure out how to hold everything. You can hold, you know, at first, when you first start doing pageants as a husband, you can hold maybe two bags, but by the end of it, you're going to hold about four bags and three gowns at the same time. So Give them a real tip. That's a pretty good tip. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, that's a pretty good tip. That's it? I don't know. <laughs> be supportive. Yeah, of course. That's that's a given, though. Yeah. Be supportive. Yeah, be supportive and always just, you know, like Smile. I said, yeah, just be a part of it. <laughs> do, whatever, do whatever they ask. Because, that's a good tip, though. Yeah. That's a really good yeah. tip. Yeah, you got to just be supportive. Will he let, ooh, will you let your daughter get into pageants? Yeah, for sure. As long as she wants to. The real question is at what age? I wonder if yeah. we have the same, we haven't talked about this, so I want to know what age. What age, pardon me. Get back, make him go. <laughs> get back, Doug. Um, what age do you think is appropriate for a young girl to be in a pageant? I don't know. I think that it probably just whenever it's her decision. You know, she's old enough to say that she wants to, if she wants to. I, we up. agree. I agree with that. When she's old enough to know what's going on. Four bags, three gowns. You know, girl. See, she knows. Sometimes more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you remember her husband from the pageant? You can do Jersey. pageant curls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jersey. Brett seems like he's been drinking. <laughs> this is what Brett is drinking. Drinking coffee. He's drinking coffee, yeah. you guys. Yeah. Coffee. And Heidi gave us. Yeah. Thanks, Anne Heidi. Okay. Um, just to stall while you guys are coming up with some questions, I have some exciting news that doesn't really pertain to Brett at all. That's okay. Um, there's Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you my news in a minute because we have some questions. What led you to do pageants and what was your Mrs. America interview like? Ooh. Okay. Um, I think this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be totally honest here. I entered my first pageant, which was Texas uh, America, Mrs. Texas America, to get in better shape. Honestly. I kind of got to a point where my lackadaisical ways of eating and not working out caught up with me because when you hit like 24 your metabolism just decides it hates you so it just goes away so that's why I entered my first pageant but the experience was so incredible and I got so much out of it that I just wanted to take advantage of doing some more so then I competed in Texas United States and then went on to Mississippi United States and then we moved to Oklahoma just started over Oklahoma, huh? I just felt it I just felt like I, there was more work that I needed to do and more people I needed to connect with. So, um, so, uh, so that's why I competed in Miss Oklahoma. My Mrs. America interview was awesome. The judges were super nice and friendly. It was really easy to connect with them. Um, we can talk some more about specifics later, as far as like questions and I got stuff. I a good story but, about how it started. Okay, go. We were just driving back from Texas to visit family in Oklahoma one day. And we were driving up 35, and Beth said, hey, I think I'm going to do this pageant. And I was just, you know, kind of driving, not paying attention really, and I was like, okay, yeah, sounds good. Here we are, three years later. So, yeah, it happens pretty fast. That's totally how it happened. <laughs> exactly. We were in the car, and I Googled exactly Mrs. Texas, and I was like, hey, yeah. I think I'm going to do a pageant. Um, yeah, and that <laughs> happened. So, here we yep. are. Yep. Three titles later, yep. new state later. Um, it's been fun, though. Yeah, fun. it has been fun. You learn a lot three about... Vegas trips. Three Vegas trips. Can't complain. Yes. You learn a lot about yourself and your spouse, whether you're the one doing the pageant or supporting the one doing the pageant. <laughs> so, um, yeah. and we, I feel like we've grown a lot through yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. We've grown a lot. Yeah. So, it's been really great. Um, more questions? What about, I don't know, I'll, I'll ask Brett a question. Mm. Um, my question to you is, what is your favorite thing about me? Hmm, on the spot. It would have to be your personality. What about it? Just how happy you are all the time. Keep me, keep me going. Aww. You're really positive and helps me out. I'm positive. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, if I have a long day, I always know that you're always going to be in a good mood for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Um, Chelsea said, did y'all ever think y'all would be where y'all are today? Okay, so I'm going to take that two ways. One, in a very literal sense. Did I ever think I would be living 
in Oklahoma, in Blanchard, Oklahoma, no, I did not. Nope. Texans are typically pretty yes. proud to be from and live in Texas, and they don't typically like to leave. <laughs> no. So, did I ever think I would be living in Blanchard, America? No, I did not. But, hi, Hudson. But I'm so blessed, I guess is the right word, to be here because of all of the things that we've done and accomplished and been through to get here to Blanchard America has been really incredible. So I don't think that we've, a, a, kind of in a non-literal context, I don't think that we, I, no, I don't, I've never expected us to, I mean, you always hope and you have like dreams and stuff, but I don't know. I never really knew that I would, could ever be this happy, honestly. I think you can't, um, you can't try to guess what God's plan for you is going to be. Because if you start doing that, you're going to have a tough time figuring that out. So we've just been, we've just tried to follow what we feel like that that God has been, has wanted us to do in our marriage and decisions that we made. And here we are, so couldn't be happier. That's good. Yeah. That's try. really good. <laughs> do you have a question for me? Um, yes. What is your favorite thing about me? You copycatter. My favorite thing about you is your faith. And like in a in a lot of ways. Like I feel like your faith drives who you are in terms of your personality and your character and your drive and your love and everything. Thanks. But I think faith is like the umbrella word that I would put on that. Well, I try to live that way. You do a good job. <laughs> Um, real quick, just side note, my little announcement that I was going to make earlier before we got some more questions in, I am running a free, F-R-E, free, clean eating challenge group. No, course, you want to call it, just a free clean eating event on Facebook. It will run from this coming Monday, which I think is the 30th, through Wednesday. So it's just three days. Um, Wednesday, February 1st, and I'm just going to provide you with all the clean eating 101 knowledge that I have. So, if you want to join, I will post the event link after this video is over, and you can just be sure to click that you're going to the event and not just that you're interested, because I'm only going to add the ones who say that they're going to the private group, because it is going to be a private group, not a public event. So, I'll post the link to the event. Say that you're going, not just that you're interested, and then I will add you to the private group. And for three days next week, Monday through Wednesday, you will get to pick my brain about Boom. clean eating. Boom. Mind brain, blown. Brain picked. Brain picked, mind blown. Just like that. Boop. <laughs> Love you, Aunt Linda. Hey, Dalton said hi. What's up, Dalton? Dude, what time is it? <laughs> oh, 7.43. Okay, we got like five more minutes. Anything else? What is the number one tip that you would give to a newlywed couple? A newlywed couple? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, you have to learn everything on your own, I think. You have to kind of figure out what works best for your marriage. But with you and I, I think the best thing is always just listen to what each other has to say. And that's something that I had a difficulty with at first. But if you just listen to what uh, your, your spouse is telling you, then they're going to tell you exactly how to make them happy. You just have to keep your ears open and... Be sure that you're focusing on them and you're selfless. And by focusing on them, then in turn, you'll be focusing on your marriage and you'll be happy and make it through anything. Happy wife, happy life. Yep. We've been lucky to have some great parents, though, to show us how to, yeah. how to treat one another. And that's helped out, too. Good job. <laughs> I agree with that. Do you guys have anything else? Oh, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so... But for like cayenne pepper we, or like <laughs> black pepper. Um, we have a specific every single week set aside date night. So we're pretty busy people. We have school. We have our jobs. We have... Cows. Ca cows. We have Doug. Yeah, Doug. You know, we just have a lot of stuff going on. So we, at the beginning of every week, we kind of look at our week and we decide which day we're gonna, which night we are going to put our phones away, a cell phone free dinner or yep. a movie or just something fun to do. So every single week we do something. Mm -hmm. um, and that's so important to just disconnect from everything else to reconnect with one another. 
and it's hard to do with the role that technology plays in our lives nowadays and not only that but with how hectic and crazy and busy and wrapped up we just get in our in our everyday lives it's it's really easy to kind of fall into like this monotonous routine of you know go to work if you're in school go to school come home cook dinner I'm tired let's go to bed early that sort of thing so you just really you have to be intentional mm -hmm. about creating that time to reconnect I think and that's and that's just it you just have to you have to focus on being intentional about that. Mm -hmm. We take turns planning. Yes. Yes, we do. You're better. She's better at planning everything. Like I'm good at maybe that evening, like that morning, I will plan a dinner, like find a restaurant. But when it comes to long-term planning, I just fall apart when, when whatever that may be. So she does the big trips, like long-term. If we're gonna do like a big trip or something like that, but I try to, I'll jump in there and surprise her with dinner every once in a while. But yeah, as far as big plans, if I do though, I'll have to ask her, and you know, it's not ever a surprise. So I will try to plan, but it ends up being her doing the planning. You know, you all have like, an idea. Hey, but, what are we doing on this yeah. weekend? <laughs> yeah, and then that's usually where it starts. We do like on a consistent basis as far as our weekly date nights. We do try to take turns. Like you plan last week, so I'll plan this week. Even if it's spray tan night, yes, it don't matter. <laughs> Beth, what's one thing yeah, you've you learned? Just wear loose clothes, you know. What's one thing you've learned about health, health that you wish everyone knew? The one thing that I have learned about health that I wish everybody knew is that it's a process. It's a mental process, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, so often people correlate their health to their physical fitness goals, right? So. I need to lose 20 pounds or I wish I had abs or I wish my legs were more toned or I wish I didn't have a chicken wing yeah. you know that thing or whatever the case may be and if we would just focus on the fact that if we would just focus on our true health all of those physical benefits like the 10 pounds you need to lose or the toning up or you know whatever all of those are just additional benefits that come along with the fact that you are just truly healthy from the inside out. And here's the thing, when you are healthy, I'm a, I'm like a, I'm gonna try not get on a soapbox because I'm really passionate oh. about this. <laughs> when you're healthy, you are happier about, with yourself, which in turn affects your relationships with others. <clears throat> like you're just a better person to be around and people enjoy your company more when you are, right? Oh, hi, Ann Heidi. When you are healthier, you are happier. Your coffee. And when you're happier, that will filter into every other aspect of your life. Don't make it some restrictive, like, time framed thing of specific goals that you have to reach. Set realistic goals for yourself and look at it as a journey and a process. That's the best thing I've seen. I've heard all day. Oh, Tim McGraw. Faith Try. Hill. Oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> Um, okay, we have to go now because I have um, a, a call to be on in like 10 minutes. So thank you guys for joining us. I hope that some of what we talked about was useful. And if not, I hope you got like a laugh or a, you just enjoyed hanging out with us for 15 or 20 minutes. Um, I got some good content for you guys next week for a live video. It's Me good, too. isn't it? Oh, it's solid. You don't even know what it is. It's solid. I don't know. <laughs> So we will see you guys soon. If you have more questions, drop them in the comments below and we will just keep up with this video and this post and we'll answer all your questions. Oh, yeah. So yep. if you have questions, let us know. Yep. If you get a chance, thank a veteran. Thank someone in law enforcement for what they do. Woo pig suey. Yep. And go pigs. <laughs> Bye you guys. <laughs>